longest bridge. I don't know how we're going to photograph this thing yet, but we're going to try. Stone walls. This road is closed. In fact, the road don't even go out to the road. This is a thrill, okay? This is definitely going to be something else. Can you see through the other end of the bridge? Let's look up at this. 11 foot, 7 inch clearance. There's Paulzer, producer. All right. Built 1902. Not sure how to pronounce the name of this bridge. Two hundred and seventy one and a half feet, fifteen and a half feet wide. Clearance is eleven point seven. The height is above water is fifteen foot number of spans two each one hundred and thirty five. Type construction double arch combined with trusses. Wow, here we go again. There's my wife way down there. See her? Silly Tilly. But look at this. Tin roof. Wooden floor. What's this sign say? This bridge was in 1901 it says. Now, the sign on the other side says 1902. It was discontinued in 1962 to public transportation. Wow. Okay, let's take a tour of this big mother. You can see Paul. <laughs> Double arches, bridge, like I said it is. right here in the middle. An extra support. Take a picture out through here, Paul. Wow, it's alley. you can read the sign better. Looks like it originally said 12.9 feet underneath 11.7 Pennsylvania Department of Highways. You know 
this. This thing hasn't been painted for a long time. Well, look at the old stone work. See if you can zoom across there at the middle pier, Paul. And even to the end. That middle pier is where we were looking out when we were in the cover bridge. Never on. That middle pier out there is where we looked out the side of the bridge where the damage is. But this is an old stone wall, but the brick bridge was either built in 1901 or 1902. It seems like the people themselves can't figure it out. Let's see if we can get a shot of the other side of this massive thing. Massive bridge. Hey, um, I'm taking over because it was a steep hill to get down. Um, this is the creek that it crosses. Then again, there's the middle pier. Okay. It has no metal underneath. It's all wood. It's, uh, very well built. It's been here for a while. And this ain't a b babbling brook, but... <laughs> And there's the roof up there. And there's the other side. Pigeon, Pennsylvania, folks. <laughs> We're going to take a lot of photographs of this as we go through here. We're going to go through it again. It's worth it. Be a beautiful bridge if it was painted. What lifts that off? Okay, here we're going back through the bridge again. Two hundred and seventy-one and a half feet. There's my wife way up there. See the construction of this baby. Like Paul said, it's pretty well constructed. I don't know why they just stopped using this in 1862 unless he just ran another a road around it and just decided to preserve it like this. don't mind seeing all this but we didn't, I just decided to photograph the whole side of the bridge as I'm walking through. Finally coming out. Beautiful old stone walls here. One thing with this thing being built in the 1901 or 1902 range it probably is mostly original. You get a babbling creek going into this. You got now the water's up. We just had heavy rains yesterday and snow. So you got more tributaries than usual coming in here. I'm sure. again a massive this is a shot you couldn't get in the summertime you can barely see through the, the thicket here but big bridge It's not a bad view from the road.
Last two bridges were in Junior.